What's going on guys? It's Ryan here with Michigan Storm Chasers. A few updates to the forecast over the next couple of days. Break this down as quick as possible for you guys so you can get on with your day. Let's go ahead and jump in here to the latest SPC outlook for today. This is valid until 8 in the morning on Sunday morning. So the majority of today will be dry across the state. Some pop-up storms are possible. Those shouldn't cause too many issues. Severe weather is not expected until later on tonight. Diving into the model here. Check out the HRRR. Moving through the evening time frames here, we're going to see a few pop-ups in the state. For example, afternoon, some here in Monroe County, probably on the Lake Breeze off Lake Erie there, up toward Port Huron as well. Later on this evening, around 7 o'clock, this model says. But the attention turns out to the west later on tonight. These storms up there in the UP, for one. And also, as it continues into the nighttime, more storms pop up. That's what we're going to watch here after that 7 p.m. time frame, probably later towards 10, maybe maybe after midnight even, up there in the UP. It's going to be a later evening event, according to the HRRR model. That's going to track a little bit further to the south, and it's also going to make an aim at western lower Michigan here. As a result, the SPC does have that marginal risk extend all the way over toward Grand Rapids, Kalamazoo, along US-131 there. So general consensus here later on this evening will be the severe weather risk ramping up a little bit after midnight, especially for most of us, but a little bit perhaps earlier for the western UP. Damaging winds is your main concern. Tornadoes are not a concern today. Large hail is a low concern. All right. Now, jumping ahead here to the NAM 3 model, showing us a little bit different picture today. We're going to look at the Western UP yet again here. This is this model saying roughly right around midnight or so. That bow echo up there is one to watch there for the Western UP. This is again tonight around midnight. Moving that forward overnight tonight, that does take aim at Michigan, some pop ups out ahead, but it does overall weaken for us here. So this model says the chance of severe for lower Michigan does appear on the lower side of things. Uh, but overall, I do think that there is a small risk for the lower Michigan overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. I don't think it's an overly concerning risk. Damaging winds is your only really concern. And it's going to take an organized uh, line of storms to really push those winds. So right now we're not really seeing anything organized. So it looks like the downtrend is there uh, for Western lower Michigan for right now, which is good news. But the bad news though is, is jumping into Sunday evening, uh, we're seeing uh, a little bit different picture here. So let's go ahead and move this forward here into the early morning hours on Sunday here. We get through the 8 a.m. period, which is where this outlook here stops and Sunday's outlook begins. So Sunday has a marginal risk of severe weather in here for South Central Lower Michigan. Does not include the UP in this update here per SPC, uh, but most all of us here in South Central from Grand Rapids over to Flint and South are in that dark green area, which is indicative of a marginal risk. Now, back to the model here. This is 8 a.m. Sunday morning, so the beginning of the outlook period. Let's go ahead and slowly work through Sunday here. Check this out. We're going to be going to Sunday morning, and all of a sudden, they start reintensifying it toward the afternoon time frame. The HRRR model says these storms that are ongoing begin to reintensify. They'll be pushing out of the state around noon to one o'clock, but as they do that, reintensification is possible. So, our very far southern counties very well could be getting a little bit better of a severe risk there to start the afternoon on Sunday. Although it does appear to be a, a narrow window there as the storms move out of the state, keep an eye on that. Now, Sunday evening has been a topic of discussion as well. Sunday evening now showing up on the models here. Check out development here. Go ahead and take a zoomed in look for lower Michigan here. There's your afternoon stuff run, ro rolling out of the state. And then we looked back to our west and boom, there's more storms developing later on Sunday evening, 8 p.m. or so, this model says. That model, or this model should I say, uh, does develop these into a nice little line there across the 94 corridor. Something to watch there Sunday evening as that does push out of the state very quickly as well, but a few other pop-ups up there in northern lower to watch uh, in the meantime as well. But overall, perhaps two rounds here on Sunday evening, according to the HRRR model. The NAM3 also shows a similar solution to that, looking at the evening time frame on Sunday, uh, which would be right about... Here, there we go. It has storms popping up there. Same general area along 94 corridor, Lake Michigan, back toward Wisconsin, Illinois border. And that doesn't really organize it you know, too well, but the overall consensus there is pop-up storms are possible there and definitely could see a line of storms coming out of that. Okay, so overview here, Western UP, watch tonight, which is Saturday night, 
towards that 10 p.m. sunset time frame for you guys. Lower Michigan, I do think your risk is pretty low for severe between now and 8 a.m., uh, but would not rule out an isolated severe storm, of course, but overall organized severe storms do not appear likely at this point. However, if those storms can re-intensify towards that afternoon time frame on Sunday, be prepared down there in southern Michigan. We could see some reintensification and also perhaps a second round there later on Sunday evening towards 7, 8 p.m. Now, that's your Saturday, Sunday outlook here. Let's jump into Monday. We do have a entire state severe risk per SPC here with a slight risk bumping into southwest lower Michigan. I will not get too in-depth with this. We're still three days out from this. It's a domino effect. How Sunday plays out is going to affect how Monday plays out. But what I can tell you is right now on the models, if everything comes together, what's on the models right now, the environment Monday would be the most concerning. It's a very, we're going to use the term explosive environment being shown here on the NAM model. For example, your red colors here indicating a really high end environment here all across Wisconsin into Michigan here by Monday afternoon and evening. We're going to watch this very closely. Uh, if there's going to be any type of, should I say, significant uh, severe weather, it would be on Monday, uh, given the parameters we're seeing here. But again, there are things that can lower this. Should, should we say like if Sunday evening has a big squall line come through the state, it may take the juice out of the atmosphere. There's a lot of things that can happen here. So we're going to watch it closely. Uh, but no reason to freak out just yet. Just know that Monday's environment right now does appear to be the most concerning uh, for severe weather. That'd be in terms of all hazards as well. Mainly damaging winds, but would not rule out a few tornadoes uh, if this verifies come Monday. All right. With that being said, you guys enjoy a dry day out there, or it should be a dry day. Some pop-ups are possible, but the severe, severe risk does ramp up later on into the evening hours, especially for the UP, as well as western lower Michigan should be on alert. Joel, will have you guys updated tonight on a briefing. Be sure to tune into that. Stay tuned to the pages for updates. We got you guys covered here at Michigan Storm Chasers. You guys have a great day.